Hello and welcome to a YouTube video about how to make this apartment right behind me. Now before we start, I want to give credit to Freedom Minecraft for actually making this house. Uh, I just saw it online, I made a TikTok about it, and now everyone wants to know how I made it. So this is just a tutorial on how to make this house. It's super duper simple, it might look hard, but I promise it is not, it is not at all. <laughs> So for the palette, I have all the blocks here. For the base and like foundation stuff, we got quartz. Uh, then for like the walls, we got cyan concrete. And then for these little arches above the doorways, we have light gray glazed terracotta. Um, for the doors, we have jungle wood. We got a note block, and, note block and leaves for this little like patio thing. We have brick and iron bars for the chimney. Now these iron bars are also used as support for the lanterns to provide some light for this build. And for the ground, we just have some gray blocks. Honestly, this can be anything you want. I was thinking about getting rid of the dead coral. Uh, I'm not sure how I like it. It's also in inside of this house. If I was to actually make an interior to this house, I probably wouldn't keep this, but uh, you live and you learn. <laughs> And then for outside of the windows and outside of like the door area, we have iron trap doors. And a lot of people wanted to know how I open them because if you just place them down, they are flat and you can't click them. I'm clicking and it's not, nothing's happening. Now the only way to actually open one of these is to give them a redstone signal like that and they will open. So how did I do it without a redstone signal? It's actually super easy. It's in vanilla. You just do slash give and then your player and then you just put debug stick when you write you just right click it until it says open and then you can click it but yeah that's the debug stick and now i think we have all the main blocks out of the way let's get building the main thing about this build is it's actually even which is very weird for most builds today we have this even pattern it's it's four blocks but usually when you want to build in minecraft you want to do you want to do something odd like that but for this build you want to give a modern and more realistic look having a lantern on each side having kind of a wide door wide windows gives it that look so if you're following this for a tutorial i really want you to not do exactly what i'm doing but get the basics down so we're gonna do something like this so it looks like this is wrapping around the whole thing and then we're just gonna put a window right here and we're gonna do the same thing over here we're just gonna put a window here and then another window right after it it's gonna be the same length but it's gonna look different and then we can put those leaves with the note blocks right in front of it and for the back we're just gonna copy this front section and then also just copy this other side We're gonna have this front part wrap all the way around, put those note blocks down to show where that window is actually going to be. And then we have the base completed. All right, now we're gonna go along with the trap doors. This is probably gonna be the most, most tedious process for everyone. Basically, you wanna find a window with one of these two note blocks and just press three and open them all. All right, we got all the windows and I noticed a little mistake I had and I just, I had slabs there and that should be solid blocks because that's not a window. All righty, so now we have all the windows done. We're gonna put in the scion con, the cyan, scion, we're gonna put this blue concrete in <laughs> and have it go up five blocks going down around these windows. So it goes one block above each window, which oop, I gotta put that there. And that extra block above the window leaves space for our terracotta to put that little uh, pattern above each window. We're also going to get rid of this right here and put blocks right there. All right. Right in front of this doorway. And then on the slabs, we're going to put some more iron trap doors and open them up like that. Then we're gonna get ready with the light gray glazed terracotta. The way you place this does matter. For the left block, you just wanna go under it and place right in the center. And for the second block, you kinda wanna go over here and place right there. And that way it makes this nice blue curve. Ooh, it makes this nice blue curve right here and the white curve right above it, which kinda looks like the trap doors are continuing over here. But we can just keep going along 
and cover this whole house with these arches maybe above the window I'm not really sure what the right word to call it is but after you do that you got a whole house covered with these arches all right next up we want to separate layer one and layer two of this apartment by just making an upside down stair just like that and having it go all the way around this building now from this point on basically all you're gonna do is kind of copy and paste what you did on the bottom up to the top you want to do five blocks up put those little arches here and then these trap doors and call it a day so I'm gonna go ahead and do the entirety of this second layer really quickly all right I'm just finishing everything up and next up we're also gonna do this upside down stair all the way across the top of here just to separate the roof all right now that that's done I believe we can cover in the roof and I just took some smooth quartz slabs and put them all on this roof section all right now that that's done we got pretty much almost exactly what's over there minus a few cosmetic things so if we grab some bricks and some iron bars we can make the chimney now this part is pretty much the only part of the build i'm not really a big fan of just because real life real life chimneys are no fun they don't look nice they aren't the prettiest i mean but this one, you won't ever see it besides maybe over here. And from far away, you know it looks fine. You definitely can spend a little bit more time making it look nice. You can maybe can have it four blocks wide. Have it kind of sticking out like that. Something like that. Who knows? It's up to you. I mean, it's really what, you, what vibe you're kind of looking for. It will not work on a roof like that because the roof is so flat. You need a small fireplace, one that's really sticking out. I keep saying fireplace. I mean, I'm, I mean chimney. All right, so now I believe it's time for the curtains. Now to make this curtain design, you want to get a banner, a gray one, put it in your loom, get a black dye, and put a black stripe on it just like that. Next, you want to put that back in and that, get a gray dye and all and put the same stripe on it. And it's going to make it, it's going to give it like this almost black gray stripe pattern. You're going to put that back in. Uh, now you're going to put a white gradient on it. It's going to be this gradient right here. So it's white at the top and dark at the bottom. Next, you're going to put white dye in again. This time you're going to do the stripe and end it with cyan, cyan. I don't even a blue dye and put a border on it which is found somewhere there's the border there you go you are done you got the same pattern now this pattern by itself it doesn't look that good but when you flip it around and have it overlay each other like that from this side it does look like curtains because of that gradient pattern that you have going on all right, now we got our banners. I think it's time. Let's move on to this porch design. So for the porch, we just have oak planks, oak slabs, fence gates, and lecterns. So you just want to place down four oak planks, then some oak slabs, then the lecterns in this formation. Now from over here, you can obviously tell they're lecterns, but from back here, uh, -uh they look like porch designs. Now to make this even better, it's up to you. You can always do something like this. If you if you want you can you can even put one here and put that there that way It kind of looks like they're supporting the top, but I really in my opinion for this build I think it's too much I think it really looks like it's too much like it's too bulky for a porch But on a bigger maybe a cottage build you could really have that porch be bulky because All right, then for support, you just put these four fence gates down there and open them all. It kind of looks like it's starting here, goes here, ends right there. All right, then you want to get lanterns and iron bars and just place them wherever you feel like it. Wherever you put them, just just it's just for light. Adds a little bit of uh, 3D to the house too, which is always nice. And also you can put uh, you can put leaves right there. 
And why not? I'm gonna I'm gonna put note blocks here. I'm feeling like a rebel. Again, I'm not following this pattern at the, now. This is a this is a completely different house. I mean, it looks similar. It's using the same foundation. That's what this whole tutorial is about. I don't want you to make this house. I want you to make something like this house. All right, now we're gonna do this main door, which is a jungle door and jungle trap doors. So first you want to put these doors facing each other so those handles are looking at each other. And then for the trap doors, you want to take two blocks right there, get a jungle trap door, bop, bop, and close them so that black thing is facing down. Then you can delete those two blocks. Now when you look, it kind of looks like one big door. That is it for the entire house. I, I mean, it, it really isn't that hard. It, it's very simple. There's not much to it. And for this outside, Really nothing special, I just put podzol, coarse dirt, andesite, dead coral, polished andesite, really anything that's gray. I could have put cobblestone, I could have put stone, really just look around, find anything that's gray. You, you can even put smooth stone, anything that's gray for the outside just to give it that concrete look. Or if you're looking for, I don't know why it would be in a forest, you can put more earthy tones, maybe some greens. Who knows? It really, it's up to you. I'm not really going to decorate the outside. This is perfect. This is, this is, this is how you make a good house. You have sweet berry bushes you have to walk through to get inside of the house. All right, that is it for this entire video. Now, if you want to know how to make like an interior to a modern apartment like this, um, too bad. I, I don't know how to do that.